am JC Casarella. I am a theater professional. Specifically, I'm a scenic designer and technical director at Augustana University. My name is Scott Parson. I teach uh, here at Augustana. I teach painting and drawing primarily. And uh, other courses as well. We're in the printmaking studio right now. Uh, Russell Spenningson, and I am uh, Director of Vocal Studies and Associate Professor of Music here at Augustana. I discovered my passion for theater pretty young. I was in high school and it was just one of the activities you could do. And so I took part and I kind of got bit by the bug, as they would say, and I have been doing it ever since. It was just something that anytime I thought about what would I do with my life, like that was the thing that just kept coming up was theater and theater. And so I began it very, very young. I mean, I was I was born, I guess, making art really. <laughs> I was um, born with fluid in my ears, so I couldn't hear. So my thoughts were, uh, I guess, within myself, and I would I would draw, and I developed a language, a visual language for it. And had my fluid drain out of my ears. I think I was about four years old. But my younger sister was speaking before I ever was, so, so language wasn't my first way of communicating, it was through the visual. In terms of my passion for music, sort of very typical for guys my age, um, started piano lessons about second grade and took them all the way through high school. I played trombone in band uh, all the way through high school. I sang in choir all the way through high school. Um, and music was just some, something that seemed to click with me. Um, I was able to to just kind of get it, to so just do it. I think it's important for people to have a creative outlet because we have to work all parts of our brain if we're going to be effective thinkers. And you can only be so kind of rational and like mathematic about things for so long before you just, it kind of becomes boring. You haven't nurtured that other side that just is sort of, you know, the side when we were kids where it was like, we would pretend things. And if you, I think if you lose that, you're just not um, as well-rounded and it really can help you problem solve as well because you often think about like, oh, well, this is how I get to A to B to C. And sometimes you get from A to C a lot faster with kind of a fun, different way if you're thinking about it in a more creative, kind of less standardly accepted style. And I think that also just helps us become better people in general. It helps us become, uh, creativity helps us become more in touch with uh, our, our human side, the side that loves to tell stories, the side that just loves to look at pretty things. And it, if you lose that, you just, um, to me, you, you're not living your fullest life. I, I find that probably my best ideas come when I'm not I mean, I'll think about something long and hard for a while and research it, but usually my best ideas come when I'm not actually thinking about that. I'm trying to do something else. And I, I think the idea is to try to make connections. You know, I just feel like that's that's the way to get out of something is you find the metaphor, you find the connection in some, some way that makes things relevant again, and fresh. Sometimes you work with a lack of sleep, that, that's a, that can open things up. Sometimes you, uh, you sleep, <laughs> get some rest, and then you come back to it. But I think, I think it's more about generating a strategy that provokes a question that is worth exploring. But it, it's a dead end if you think you're going to come up with the right answer, especially ahead of time. And then in the arts, it's, it's, it's really that, ex that in interaction between you and the material and the idea, and hopefully some sort of sense of spiritual quality to that too, to bring to it. And ultimately, if you want to make good art, I think you need to engage in the mystery of it, not, the, not some sort of half resolution or answer. There's the stuff I can do, right? So like Wagner and Verdi, I'm the big guy, with the fat guy with horns and a spear, screaming at other fat people in German. I can do that, right? Um, and I love to listen to it, but that's not all. I enjoy listening to, and I, I'm, I'm, I just like music, and I, and uh, listening to it and being in touch with it, going to live performances, that, that makes me want to do it. You know, I, it's, it's not, I don't want to be the best. I just want to be better than who I am now. So I'm always, and I'm 50, so I'm looking down. You know, I'm kind of on the back nine of my career professionally, and I want to make it great. I'm not, I'm not riding off into the sunset. I want to do great stuff right up till they roll me out of here on a stretcher.